You got the van muddy. Oh, yeah. Folks, it's Tim with Adrenaline. Talking through a little bit of the setup here on my dually. I uh, posted a video the other day and some photos and said, hey, what do you guys think? Should I keep same size up front as the rear on the dually? Everybody had an opinion, it was great. Lots of people said keep the same size. A lot of people said, fuck it, go big or go home. So that's what we're gonna do. So I just wanted to talk through the setup and explain a few things here. Uh, the difference between the 3500 and 2500 in the Sprinter, uh, the difference between a dually uh, rear axle and how those wheels are set up differently from the front. So anyways, we'll get into it here. This is the stock dually setup. And Brooke, if you wanna show everyone a little bit closer here. Basically, the difference between your standard 2500 and a 3500, the, there's two wheels in the back, of course, and up front here is this dually hub. Now this piece changes your bolt pattern from your standard sprinter bolt pattern to the dually pattern. And it also moves your wheel out further away from the, the face of your, of your hub. So if you remove that hub from the, from the dually, you're left with what we have on the other side, which I'll show you. It's just a standard 2500 Sprinter hub, essentially. I mean, it's the same bolt pattern, the same setup as you'd have on your 2500. I put wheel studs in here because we were testing fitment on some different wheels. So what you can do, and it's not necessarily recommended if you wanted to have um, you know, maximum compatibility within wheels, but what you can do is remove that hub and then run a different wheel up front, a mismatched wheel, if you will, from rear to front, and get something a little bit wider. Let's go back to the other side. So here is a Method 901 front wheel. And you can see, looking at it from the front, you can see how narrow the wheel is. The, the wheel itself is five and a half inches wide versus a Method 701. This would be a standard wheel that comes on a lot of Rebels. Um, this wheel is seven and a half inches wide, so two inches wider, and you can put a much wider tire on that wheel than on the dually wheel. So that's the whole idea. We wanted to go with a wider tire in the front, better rubber, uh, more traction, more turning traction, and a better aesthetic. That's what I was going for. So in the rear, we've got the duals. We're keeping the duals due to load rating. So they look great. But up front, when you put this skinny front tire on, even though the tread pattern is the same as the rear and it looks okay, uh, I just didn't like how narrow it was. So I wanted to go with the wider wheel. Uh, the problem with these 901 wheels, even though they're the same offset front to rear, and technically uh, with a factory dually, factory steel wheels, you'd be able to swap all three around, you know, uh, in the event of a flat, in this case, if you had a flat front tire, you couldn't take a spare rear wheel and, and put it up here, a spare 901. You'd have to use a factory steel wheel to replace it. You're swapping a bunch of wheels around regardless in the event of a flat with a dually and aftermarket wheels. I don't really care about uh, maximum compatibility. So we're gonna do a factory steel dually wheel uh, spare for the rear. And I'll do a, a spare 701 for the fronts. And I'll just have two spares. Or I won't have any spares. I don't know, I'll just roll the dice. Probably just gonna carry two spares. Again, this is uh, not recommended, it's just what we're gonna do. So you can see the massive offset here. This is 117 mil offset. And now what that means, the bigger the number, as you have the tire on the van, the bigger the number, the further in towards the van, the edge of the tire sits, right? The, the center of the wheel sits. So 117 millimeter offset, this is a 50 millimeter offset wheel. So we wanted to be able to fit a wide tire and uh, the way we're doing that is removing this hub, which brings your wheel closer to the coil, but we're going with a smaller offset number, which pulls the wheel away from the, the coil. So we've test fit all this stuff and we found that we can run a 295 7017 front tire and still clear the coil over. If we, that's probably all a little bit confusing. 
offsets, tire sizes and stuff. Um, but hopefully that helps explain a little bit the difference between the 2500 and the 3500, how the wheels are set up and um, how we're doing what we're doing here. Again, I wouldn't normally do this on a customer's van and I certainly wouldn't do this on a four wheel drive. A two wheel drive, you can get away with this and have a different size tire up front and in the back. This tire is taller than, than the rear, significantly. Um, so if you had a four wheel drive, that would be a major problem because you, the, the uh, um, diameter is different. And your transfer case would not like that. Your computer would not like that. But in a two wheel drive, we're able to ignore some things within the, within the computer and make this work make the van go down the road just fine and uh, and have that aesthetic that we're looking for. So that's that's how we're doing this. Uh, it's gonna look badass and uh, we'll show you that setup once we have it all on and installed. At this point, in order to get this big tire to clear on the two wheel drive, we've already done the rip kit. So that's, you know, a Bilson B6 front strut, the coil assist kit from Agile. Now, we're gonna also add a van compass uh, two inch lift kit. So that's gonna space this thread out from the body another two inches. It's gonna add a two inch spacer between the frame and the subframe. And so it'll lift the entire van two inches from here. That's the only way we're gonna be able to get this big tire to clear, especially on a two wheel drive where it sits lower in the front anyway. So um, we're gonna add that lift kit now and uh, we'll take some video of that going in then we'll put all this back together. We'll set the van down on the ground and, and see how it looks. We'll go get it aligned. And from there, we can decide if we can do the big brakes or not. Offsets and such. Ew. What? When you're hungry, you're hungry. <laughs> Lift kit is on. There it is, 295s on a 3500 two wheel drive. Do they clear? Yes, yes. 
Um, there's a little rubbing, okay? But rubbing's racing. I'm good with that. So we're gonna do a little bit more trimming, but I'm not too worried. This bumper, the factory bumper's going away. We're replacing it with an Illumines full front bumper. So we can trim and, and uh, fix the rubbing and the plastic. I may need to relocate the def tank a little bit, just for safety. It doesn't hit now, but just, you know, in, in case you're off-roading and we hit a big bump, I don't want to rip the def tank off. So we'll address that when we replace the bumper. But overall, I'm really happy with the stance. If you take a look at it, uh, the stance looks phenomenal. Again, it's unloaded. I have heavy springs in the back. So it's gonna sit a little high in the rear right now, but I actually, I love the rake. Um, and having the wide tires up front, it makes all the difference when it comes to aesthetics. I think uh, there's no way I would wanna go back to a, to a 235 again. I love it. So let us know what you think. Like it or hate it, we're leaving it. So, hope you enjoy it.